Welcome to this short introduction of CNC Simulator Pro. We are going to have a look at the main window as well as some key features of the software. At the bottom of the window we find some buttons. The ones to the left control the simulation. This is the button to start the simulation. This is the pause button. You can pause at any time while the simulation is running. Next we find the stop button. It ends the simulation. This is the fast forward button, it runs the simulation at max speed. With this button you can run the simulation block by block. Let us try them one by one. We load the built-in demo program by pressing Alt-D. Start simulation. Pause. Resume simulation. Fast forward. Back to normal speed. Step by step. Stop. Now let us have a look at the other buttons to the right. The I button resets the view to a zoomed in perspective. If you hold down the control key while clicking it, the view will reset to a zoomed out perspective. The machine button will open the machine browser. At the top of the browser you can select what machine type you are looking for. If you click on a thumbnail picture you will see information about the machine. Click the load button to load it. The next button to the right of the machine button opens the inventory. In the inventory you can find all your tools, work pieces, materials, and zero points. There are the ones you have created yourself as well as the embedded resources. The last button on the right is used to hide or show the editor or CNC controller in the right panel in the window. Above these buttons to the left, we find the goggles button that opens the view panel. Here you can select what should be visible during simulation as well as controlling the simulation speed. This button open and closes the machine doors on machines that have them. This button show or hide the machine and program zero points. This button show or hide a larger display of the machine coordinates and other data. To the right of the goggles button we find the button to open the cutting panel. Here you can cut the workpiece from different directions. These six buttons also controls the view in different ways. The home button resets the screen to a zoomed out state. This is the zoom window button. You can also zoom in and out by rolling the mouse wheel at any time. With this button you can zoom in and out by clicking and dragging the mouse up and down. This is the pan button. You can also do this by clicking and dragging with the right mouse button independent of in which view mode you are in. Use this button to rotate the view. You can also rotate by holding down the mouse wheel. This is the zoom fit button. In the top right corner we find the view cube. It can also be used to control the view in different ways.
the left panel has three tab pages, 3D, 2D, and SimCam. On the 2D page you can simulate your program in 2D. On the SimCam page you can create drawings and automatically make CNC programs from them. The right side panel has two tab pages, the CNC editor and the controller. The controller can be used to start, stop, and step the program just like the buttons down to the left in the main window. Above the tabs we find the main menu. Here you can find all the functions that the simulator has to offer. These will be covered in other tutorials. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe to make sure you don't miss future tutorial videos. Have a great day.